Uh, you went on to uh, win the WWE tag titles at the first WrestleMania. Uh, what, were, what was that like and what, would, what are your memories of the first oh WrestleMania? Oh my God, that was unbelievable. Yeah. We have a message going and sold out and we had so much, uh, what you call, heat. It tends, when I come outside, I couldn't even hardly sing Russian National Anthem. We told all the people to stand up for, uh, for Russian National Anthem, you know. And uh, we beat uh, fair and square. Yeah. Uh, Barry with a with fresh blessed cane. He, she, I uh, hold in the belly, she hit her with the hand so hard that cane cave of his head, knocked him out, and hit me, almost, almost knocked me out too. And I just fall down on top of the belly. That was that one, two, three people was mad. What did you think of Barry Windham as a wrestler? He was he was good because I wrestled his father. Yeah. And then Mike Ritondo was a good wrestler. He was a, a college wrestler, you know, beautiful person, you know. So you Blackjack Mulligan was his was that his father? Barry yeah, Windham? better than the father, yeah. Black, Black Mike Jack. What were those matches like against the father? Well Blackjack Mulligan was a good wrestler too. He was he, he was a professional football player. I always liked any professional wrestler that he was previous athlete. Right. You know what I mean? Because I believe old school say if you want to be a wrestler, you should at least look like a wrestler. Right. Before you start anything, you know. But yeah, nowadays it's a little bit different. Yeah, different. And you only had a three month reign as champion despite that you were over very like very well as heels. Are you surprised you only had a three month uh, title no, reign? No, because uh, we suggested ourselves, we said we don't need those belts because they're very hard to carry on a road that time you travel so much. Because our, our, our gimmick is our, our belt, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you feuded with the Killer Bees and wrestled them at WrestleMania three. Yeah. Uh, what were your memories of being in front of that crowd, which was the biggest? Well, that was crowd? good. Uh, she, uh, she didn't like Brian. No. Brian, yeah, Brian Blair, yeah. But it was okay. And Jim Brazil was a good, good wrestler. Brian was a good wrestler too, you know. But. Uh, what was his reasoning for not liking Brian? I don't know. She on time. You know, maybe maybe his style of life. You know, when you when I said before, when you. When you party too much with the drugs and alcohol, it's not good. And you ended up being switched to a tag team with Boris Zukov um, in the late 80s, around 1988. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of that team? Boris was a good guy. He was a good guy. He was, he was getting good push. Good push by that time. You, you know, the communists fall down in Russia. And I told McMahon, that's it. I cannot be Russia sympathizer anymore. Communism is gone. You know, I uh, always hated, you know. I want to be myself now. I want to be really me myself. And that's uh, it was very good. And you switched by actually singing the American National, American National, National Anthem. Anthem. Yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, are you surprised <laughs> that they only had, I think your blow-off match was on a Superstars episode. Are you surprised they didn't have your blow-off match with that tag team on a pay-per-view or something when you and Boris? Well, it was a time. I guess. It was a. It was a time. You know, I thought I wanted to be a you know, bad guy anymore. Right. Yeah. And before you split up, you did have a very fast match at WrestleMania Six against the Hart Foundation. Yes. In yes. Toronto. Yeah. Uh, what were your thoughts on Bret Hart? You said you knew him as a ten-year-old boy. Yeah, ten-year-old boy. What yeah. do you think of him as a? As well, he was a good. He was a good wrestling couple. Good wrestling family. He was a nice, clean guy. Good cut. Yeah. And uh, what are your thoughts on that whole uh, Montreal screw job thing? Do you think uh, it was something that needed to be done due to the circumstances or... Uh, what do you mean? You know, when uh, that incident happened with Brett in Montreal in later years, I was just wondering your thoughts on that. When, what uh, will happen? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, they gave Brett a different finish than what happened. Shawn Michaels had uh, Bret Hart in the sharpshooter and the referee told... Uh, called for the bell to be rang, Brett, yeah. and then Brett lost the title, even though that wasn't the planned finish. And Brett ended up going to WCW and being yeah. bitter for you. Sometimes that thing that thing happened. I was not there, but that happened. Yeah. yeah, that was after your time in the company. Yeah. Um, you feuded with Sergeant Slaughter when you were a baby face. What was that like working with him? Uh, it was great. Sergeant uh, Sergeant Slaughter was a good, uh, you know, good wrestler, good athlete. People love them. People love them. We have some good matches. Was that strange because yeah. uh, you were so used to being the foreign heel and yeah. Slaughter is used to being the Amer all American baby face and then yeah. it was the opposite roles? Yeah, because <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter uh, turned a heel one time too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, he did well as a heel. Oh, yeah, he yeah. did well, yeah. But when you're a good wrestler, you can go either way. 
And you've had a lot of matches in Maple Leaf Garden over, over the oh, years. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. We had a lot of fans from Toronto uh, that messaged me and asked if I could ask you about your memories of wrestling in Toronto over Oh, the Toronto was a beautiful city because they have lots of European restaurants at the time, you know. And I, at the time, I was not vegetarian. I love to go to Italian restaurant, uh, Greek restaurant, you know, Chinese restaurant. And they have a good food and good, beautiful European people and Canadian, you know, nice people, you know. I felt like, I almost felt like home. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And Maple Leaf Gardens. Maple like Leaf Gardens was great, yeah. And in 2005, you were inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame yeah. What was your reaction to getting that call? It was great. It was great. It was feeling great because I was inducted with Hulk Hogan and Jimmy Hart, uh, Paul Wondrow, uh, Bobby Heenan. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Jimmy Hart, yeah, and Cowboy. Cowboy. Bill Watts. No. Oh, Bob Orton. Bob Orton, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was great. Nice group. What are your thoughts on Bob Orton's son? Oh, he's great. Yeah, he's good. He's good kid, you know. And uh, Jim Ross introduced you. Yes, into Jim Ross. Yeah, Jim why, Ross. Why did they choose Jim Ross? Because uh, Jim Ross was <clears throat> I know Jim Ross for a long, long time when I was when I wrestled Mid South, you know. And he suggested that he liked to introduce me there. Yeah. 